Stopping sight distance is necessary to provide drivers the ability to see far enough in front of them to be able to stop before hitting a stationary hazard that's in the roadway. So let's look at an example. We've got a 60 mile per hour design speed roadway, and we're gonna look at three scenarios, one where the roadway's level, one where there's a 5% upgrade, and one where there's a 5% downgrade. So starting with the level case, our reaction distance, 1.47 times the design speed times our brake reaction time, assumed to be 2.5 seconds, gives us a braking brake reaction, a brake reaction distance of 220.5 feet. Next, we can look at our braking distance. This is V squared over 30 times A, which is assumed to be 11.2 feet per second squared, divided by 32.2, plus or minus the grade. There's no grade in this case, so it's zero. So 60 squared over 30 times 11.2 divided by 32.2. And this gives us a braking distance of 345 feet. To find the overall stopping site distance, we're gonna add the reaction distance and the braking distance, 220.5 and 345 feet to get a, an overall stopping site distance of 565.5 feet. Now looking at our case with our 5% upgrade, the reaction distance doesn't change, still 220.5 feet. None of those assumptions are adjusted by the grade, but for the braking distance, now we've got a 5% upgrade. So now in the denominator, we we're gonna add plus 0 0.05, and that's gonna change the braking distance to 301.6 feet. So it's lower than our level scenario, and that's because the upgrade is helping us slow down. So we don't need as far on the roadway to slow down to bring our vehicle to a stop from 60 miles per hour, uh, braking at 11.2 feet per second squared. So the overall sight distance we're gonna get by adding these two terms together, 220.5 feet and 301.6 feet to get a, an overall stopping sight distance of 522.1 feet, again, lower than the level condition. Now moving to the 5% downgrade. Again, the reaction distance doesn't change, still 220.5 feet, but our braking distance will change. Now on the denominator, we're gonna subtract 0 0.05. So our braking distance goes up and increases to 402.9 feet. And finding our overall stopping site distance by adding those two terms together gives us a stopping site distance of 600 23.4 feet. So this is larger than the level condition and that the upgrade condition, because with the downgrade, gravity is going to cause us to need a longer distance to complete that braking maneuver.